G'day viewers, and welcome to Aussie Backyard Food, where today we aim to show you just how easy it is to cook camp oven lamb shanks with roasted veggies from your own backyard. Let's get into it. Well, it's Mother's Day 2017 and the family's coming over for lunch. And what better way to show your mum just how much you love her than by growing lunch and cooking it in your own backyard. So as with most involved jobs, preparation is key. So let's see what we're, where we're up to. We've dug our pit. We've got our camp ovens on standby. For this sort of an involved lunch, it is preferably desirable to have two camp ovens because your lamb shanks and your veg are going to cook at two separate rates for two separate amounts of time so and we can control the heat uh, for one camp oven to suit the veg while it, while the shanks won't need quite as much heat we've got our feeder fire where we'll shovel our coals from to provide the heat to cook our lunch over here we've got all our ingredients. We have two types of homegrown potatoes, Dutch cream and royal blue. Some homegrown jap pumpkin, homegrown carrots, and as I hate to admit it, some shop bought onions, but sometimes sometimes you just gotta. Some Billy tea for later some salt and pepper for seasoning, and the hero of today's dish, our summer tomato passata. That's got pre-prepared with all our herbs and spices, some homegrown garlic, and uh, that's, that's gonna flavor up our shanks just perfectly. Let's get into it. And one other little addition. We're gonna try something a bit different with the often much maligned choco. <coughs> the humble choco. It separates, it divides. Some people love it, like myself, other people hate it. As you can see behind me here, we've got a choco vine. And in past seasons, this one vine has fed our whole street. I just put, put them out in a bucket and they keep going. But unfortunately this year, we've had a, uh, a plague of brush-tail possums, and that's why you can see it's just been chewed right back. But we've got enough for us. And what I'm gonna do with these chocos? Well, I think the key to a good choco is how you cook it. So today I'm gonna cook my choco risotto to accompany the shanks and veggies. Let's just give it a go. Try and keep an open mind, people. So what goes into this risotto? Chocos, of course. Four chopped chocos. 150 grams of butter. Two whole bulbs of garlic. Homegrown, if you got it. Four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Salt and pepper. Uh, we cook that down over the fire. <clears throat> at which time we'll add some pre-prepared steamed brown rice and some Parmesan cheese. Stir it all up and you can be the judge. Okay, so it's time to brown our shanks. Throw them straight in the pot. 
with salt and pepper for seasoning. I like plenty of pepper with my lamb. Black pepper and lamb, I reckon, match made in heaven. Some oil, so it doesn't burn. Lid on. And in our pit, she goes. Now it's time to shovel on some coals. Okay, so now it's time to add the magic ingredient. Do you hear that pop? The freshness seal. Okay, so uh, the guests have arrived. Uh, the shanks are cooking away just nicely. Oh, I should probably, I probably should just mention, yes, uh, we've got a few generations here and it is Mother's Day, so happy Mum Mother's Day to all the mums out there. Also, all the, the, uh, the senior men in this uh, production are dressed by Salty Sea Dog Clothing uh, and Michelle at Milton on the south coast of New South Wales. So anyway, a little demonstration of about how we uh, mix our Billy tea here in Australia. All right, didn't spill a drop. Okay, so let's check out the shanks. Looking good. I think we'll give them a stir. Time to start on the veg. Spuds first. Spuds have been here for half an hour, we have the rest of the veggies to cook. Some strategic uh, fire adjustment going on here. Some uh, technical expertise brought to the party by uh, Clayton Senior. Um, that looks good. I think we're ready to uh, insert the risotto again. Would you say? Risotto insertion ready. Okay.
and a quick update on the veg coming along nicely look at that anyone got anything they want to add what about a raspberry or two <laughs> oh that's so <laughs> <drop. laughs> Delicious, Thank so you. We, so we have a risotto, we have a range of veggies. Well, at least you're carrot, striving there. Pumpkin yeah. and uh, a couple of different ones. Do it herself, though. Lamb. He wants to grab and shanks. What's the Japanese word for yeah. delicious? I mean, that, that's uh, good. Oishi. 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 Well, to me, this is what growing your own veggies is all about. Um, being able to look after you, the people you love. And um, I think I, I grew up, I, I got a lot of my inspiration from the uh, senior women in my life, most notably my mum and my nana. And they were great, they are great gardeners. And I think that's where I've, I've developed my passion. So here's to the mums. So here's here's the lady I got a lot of my uh, gardening inspiration, food growing from, and her great granddaughter. Namesake. Namesake. And um, they're, they're, everyone's been enjoying homegrown food. Could you say, Nana, what you think about growing your own vegetables for the camera? The best thing you can do is grow your own. Nothing tastes better. Well, it was very popular in your day to have a garden, a veggie garden in the backyard. I always had it, Sean. See, in the country you have that. Yeah, but why do you think it was so popular back in your day to have a veggie patch in the the backyard? Well, and you, chooks and you had to try and save money, you know. And, and at Yellowstone we had because my brothers were there. Uh, they used to grow the vegetables, send them to Sydney, and go around Byron Bay selling, and we had all sorts of fruit. Yep. There wasn't a lot we had done. Pineapples, mulberries, mangoes, peaches, grape, uh, figs, melons, pawpaws, guavas. That sounds like you were, you were really Bananas. struggling. We had, and my da dad grew arrowroot and took it right down to the powder. That's experimenting at school. Now, yeah. Uh, I've always had the veggie garden while well, I had land to work on. Yeah. And nothing suited me better than to be in the garden, whether it be flower or vegetable. Yeah. Well, maybe that's a secret to your success. Oh, I've got plenty of secrets. 